We could probably start there because it was your uh, encounter with divination, so to speak, uh, oracle systems that um, greatly altered your career path. Uh, Not greatly, really, completely. Completely. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for those people who are joining us tonight, we have people from all over the country here. We are um, streaming right now on seven Facebook sites and also on our YouTube channel. Um, Shechem or Shechem, can you share with people who are not aware what is an oracle system? And um, maybe you want to share that first story about how it influenced your path. Yeah, first of all, the, the word oracle, first of all, let me uh, say hello to uh, the audience. And I'm very grateful that you've taken time out today, you know, for us to share our experiences on our journey, in our journey to our divinity. <clears throat> and um, the word oracle, aura, the root of oracle means to speak, you know, as an oral, to orate. So the oracle is something that speaks, you see, that tells, you know, is a, is a means through which something speaks. And it's important to, to break it down that way because people think that if I use the tarot cards or the <clears throat> that the message is coming from tarot cards. If I use the Meduna Tarot, the E.G., they think that the message is coming from the E.G. itself or the Meduna Tarot card. No. You see, the oracle is, a like you said, a tool, a device that allows us to communicate, you know, with our spirit, our subconscious mind. You with me? Okay, that allows the subconscious mind, <clears throat> which knows a heck of a whole lot more about life than we do, right? Like we don't know how to digest food. Our psych knows how to do that. <laughs> you see? Sure. Uh, we don't know how to grow our body and heal our body. Our psych knows how to do that. Our psych also is involved in the social aspects of our life. You know, what's going to happen tomorrow? <clears throat> 10 years from now, the psych knows all of the meaning. The another word for the psych is the soul. It has all that information engraved in it. So how you tap into the psych, you see that, okay, to, to your soul to extract information, just not simply about the future, about what's going on. Why did that happen five years from now? You know, we need a, a, a vehicle, an intermediary vehicle to extract that information. And that is what an oracle is. Mm -hmm. And there are different kinds of oracles. You see that, in other words, some oracles, you know, um, get information from the psych. That's the e -Gene. You see that? And the tarot. Other oracles get information from the spirit. I mean, a higher part of your being. That's the medunity oracle. You see that? Okay? You know, other, other oracles get information also from the soul and that is Ifa. So we need to understand the symbol set. You see that? Of mm -hmm. an oracle. You see that? Mm -hmm. uh, the I Ching is tied in with the Taoist philosophy. The Medunatir is tied into the Kamitic, the Osirian philosophy, spiritual system. Uh, Taro, on the other hand, is not tied into any wisdom you know, uh, system. Okay, nobody who is a tarot pra practitioner can bring, you know, a wisdom system that ties into the tarot so that when you get a message from the tarot, it's not a highly spiritual guidance that you're getting. You see that? Yes, sir. <clears throat> so you wanted me to say how I got involved with oracles, correct? Two. Yeah. I was a, you know, I was still at Manus College of Music pursuing a career as a concert pianist, you know, and I came across Imam Baraka, you know, somebody told me that he was looking for piano teachers because he had the Black Arts Repertory School Theater in Harlem, where he was teaching for free, young black people and so forth, how to write poems and plays and things of that nature, you see that. And um, so I went up, you know, I said, hey, let me give something back to the community. I can, I, you know, I can teach, you know, young kids piano. 
So in between giving lessons, um, I ran into Sun Ra, you know, <laughs> the great jazz, you know, musician. Is he from Philadelphia, by the way? Based in Philadelphia, his group. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you know. So he says to me, you know, okay, you know, Beethoven, Chopin is cool, you know, um, and you're studying, you know, Western harmony, but I write my music guided by the E. Jing. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, I never heard of that music system before, that, <laughs> that music theory system. You know, and it says, oh, yes, all the harmonic information is inside here, and it ties the tie your music into life. I said, really? So I ran downtown to Barnes and Noble's bookstore and bought me a copy of the E. Ching, you know? And I became fascinated with reading the book, read through the book, how to do reading and so on. And the first question that it came to me to do was about my destiny. You know, like why, you know, why am I here on earth? And I got the 26 hex around top line stress. You know, so it's, it, 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 it brought in 11 hexagrams. So my destiny was 26 into 11 hexagram. And the complement to the 26 hexagram was the 45th hexagram, you know, which speaks of gathering together. So what I got from the reading was, the reading was saying plainly and outright, like, yeah, you know, you got great music, you got great artistic skills. You have great skills that can make you famous and big in the in the world, but you need to give it up and, <laughs> de and <laughs> dedicate yourself to the spirit of upliftment and sharing it with people. I said, say what? <laughs> <laughs> give up my music. I said, so how am I going to make a living? You know, and so on. So I struggled with that for three years. And during that struggling period, People will somehow find me, you know, and ask me questions and I would do readings for them and they would come back and tell me how their life was so much better from that reading. And I'm like, hmm, I'm improving people's life with this E. Jean article <laughs> and I'm not using it myself. You know, until one day in my meditation, it came to me that it wasn't E. Jean talking to me, but it was God talking to me through the E. Jean. Mm. It's the extracting symbols from my soul, from my psyche. <clears throat> and I was like, wow. You know, so God is telling me to give up the music and dedicate myself to my spiritual upliftment and to help uplift others. I said, I should ignore God. So I changed my mind right then and there. And it's been, you know, that's what brings us to the to where we are today. All the Medunitary volumes and all the books and all the classes were set aside in you know many cities around the world. And it's been a fantastic journey.